Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. Today we are going to be looking over the permissions.cfg file of vMenu. I'm going to expect you already have vMenu installed and you do know how to get your Steam identifiers. If you don't know how to do that, I will leave two videos in the description linked to both getting your Steam identifier and installing vMenu. So let's go ahead and get straight into this one. We're going to open up our permissions.cfg file and while it opens up, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And in here you can see there is a lot of info. At the top you have your typical configuration info, uh, just should you use permissions, should it be staff only, whatever you're doing. Obviously you can configure the key bindings, no, no clips, the logs, everything else can be changed up there. What we're actually going to be taking a look at is under the permission section. You can see there is two things at the top that we're going to take a look at. There is the players and group setup. This is where you're actually going to set your admins. You can also do this in the server.cfg, though to keep things easy, you should set them in here. So you can always track them pretty easily. And then there's also group inheritance. And we're going to check that out in a minute. So first, let's talk about the group setup. So at the top here, we have add principle identifier.steam. So this is using Steam identifiers. And then we're using that Steam identifier that we got in the other video linked in the description and in the cards if you need it. And this is where your Steam identifier for the players is going to be located. And we're setting them to group admin. If you're going to set them to whatever group dot moderator or whatever, you could just change admin to moderator. Or you could switch it to a custom one like group dot trainee. And then that would be your admin group or your group which you're going to set the permissions for. And then down here you have set up group inheritance. This is by default. Moderator will inherit admin or admin will inherit moderator, opposite way around. So any moderator permissions admins will have. If you want to add more of these, you can obviously add more. So you can make it so uh, trainees inherent um, or moderators inherent all trainee groups. Whatever you're doing here, you can add this. If you don't know what you're doing, keep it default. There's not much more you need to do. Global permissions. So by default, you don't touch any of this, like right here, this first line, don't touch unless you know what you're doing. But here's the permissions for don't kick me, don't ban me. So if you don't want moderators to be kicked or banned, you can change this from group admin to group moderator. If it's changed to group moderator, remember admin inherits it all. So they'll also not be able to be kicked or banned. Should have, who should have access to your staff area of your menu? If it's set to staff only, well, that would be whatever you're doing. So group moderator. If everybody should have access to no clip. If you want to disable no clip fully, just add a hashtag in front of this line. Otherwise, you can change this from built-in.everyone, which is where everybody in the server can have access to group.admin or group.moderator. And this is kind of how you do it for all permissions in here. Just like that. Just change it to group.admin, group.moderator. For me, I'll keep it up built-in-everyone. Now let's talk about how you can configure these menus. We'll go through really quick. Um, there's not much. It's kind of repetitive as you go on. So I'll only go over two of the groups, and then you can modify the rest of them as your needs. So let's see the online player menu. If you want people to access the menu, you have this first option as allowed without a hashtag. This lets you have the menu enabled. And then anything you see here, you can see without hashtags is enabled. So should you be able to teleport all players? Well, no, you don't. You No, you don't want everybody to have all permissions in this menu. You want moderators to have custom permissions. So you can see group moderators only has the temp ban and view temp ban players and perma ban and unban. You don't want everybody to have that. If everybody, if you uncommented this line, everybody would have access to that. So you don't want that. To see it a little bit more clearly under player options, you can see everybody has access to the player's options menu by default. You see all options are set to allow. If you want certain options to only be for certain players, comment out this line with a hashtag. Uncomment the lines you want to be enabled. So for me, I want God mode to be enabled. So I'll go ahead and uncomment this line, but I don't want everybody to have God mode. So I'm going to change this and make it group dot admin. So now our God mode is only for admins. There's no other options in the menu because I haven't enabled them. But let's say I want to be able to have players to dry um, their clothes off. So I'll just go ahead and uncomment that line. So everybody can now drive their clothes off, but they won't have access to any of the other permissions here because they're not enabled. If you want them to have every permission, you can keep it default or just uncomment that line if it's commented for the player options all. It is the same with every single one of the other menus. By default, all are enabled, but you can just hashtag that out and change the other ones as you need. Let's talk a little bit about weapons menu real quick, and then I'll show you how to disable your in-game voice chat for those who are wondering. In the weapons option, by default, weapon options all means you have all of the weapons. You can go ahead and comment this out to disable that. And then what you're going to do is you can enable this certain ones you want. So let's say you want a bat to be allowed by your players. Well, you're going to uncomment this line, and it's going to be add ace, whatever your players is, weapon options bat. But let's say you want 
the assault rifle mark two to be a staff rifle well what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and uncomment this line and change the built-in to whatever group it is group dot admin just like that now that player will have that all the other guns will be disabled in this file unless you uncomment the line so you're going to be doing a lot where you're uncommenting the lines over and over again that's just how this file works then if you want your you can do this for every single weapon in the game and you can do this for every single menu in the game kind of repeating let's talk about voice chat if you want to um, get rid of voice chat all you have to do delete this whole section very easy otherwise you can do the same thing configure it and you can set up restricted voice channels if you want for staff and stuff like that in game i recommend keeping it default if you're not using it just delete it so that is how you set up v menu permissions very easy uh you use your ace permission system this is all ace permissions and if you don't know ace permissions it's just this add principle identifier thing so all this uh info is down in the description if you want to check it out if you want to install v menu videos down there too thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one goodbye all